Hello, it's Sarah. And I have a little resin share today. Um, I also did a... I'm going to wait for my polymer clay. I made some a box. I covered a box like this with clay, but I want to do a couple more and then I'll do a share. Um, I bought some triple thick. This is the Brilliant Brush On Gloss Glaze that I've seen a few people talk about. Um, they talk about triple thick in the scrapbooking world too. Um, I, I've heard of it for a while, so I finally bought some today. It's an Americana product, which I, which I do like Americana. I, I've used their paints for years. I mean, these are a mess, but um, anywho, I wanted to show you. Um, all right, so these were just some, some pieces that I, uh, this actually finally worked. I didn't even, these are the soap molds again, so I didn't even um, dome these. I domed the back, but they come out shiny. And finally, this one is like the colors all showed up and everything. I did it in orange. I like this orange too. This is like a neon orange. You go girl, you can see it. It looks pretty good. I domed it in white. This one, I think I put a little bit of some hearts behind it too. This one, I just did the glitter. Um, here's my steampunk one. This is pretty thick. This was a soap mold too. And I did two layers. So the first layer is just the clock. And that's actually um, a sticker. It's a, th a three-dimensional sticker by Jolie. So the first layer is just the clock. I just covered the clock with, with resin. And then the second layer is the other gear. Oh, and then I put the little gold um, glitter on the, on the back of the first layer. And then the next layer is the gears. And I put um, these little nuts in there that I had. They were actually a, a chain, like part of a chain. Um, and then I poured the light. I think that I just dome this. I did. I just domed it with black glitter and it didn't come out opaque enough. I wanted it more opaque. So I'm probably going to have to get, I don't know, I, maybe I should just try black um, acrylic paint. But I really like it. There are quite a few, and I didn't glaze this or um, uh, dome it. So, I mean, those soap molds are really good. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I forget. But turned out, oh, there's a lot of micro bubbles. I don't know if you can see them. Like, I think the glitter disguises it enough that it's okay. But that's pretty cool. It's kind of like, I would consider that like a paperweight. It's a pretty heavy piece. But this is what I want to show. So this is um, another soap mold. And I just put Tinkerbell in the front of it with a bunch of little, like, I don't want to go too close. A bunch of those little um, glitter chunks. And then... Um, I mixed some, I think I mixed blue glitter to make a background, and I domed it in white. And I didn't have to um, uh, dome this front either because it comes out so shiny. I think I might, though, because I might want to put some bling on it. Maybe a bow or something. I think I want to put a bow and some bling down it like Miss Trinity does. And then this one, I love how this turned out. This is um, black and purple glitter. Actually, this is just straight purple. Let me see. Yeah, I was thinking of, um, um, it's either black and purple or pur just purple. But I had sprinkled purple behind the words and everything, and it was kind of see-through, and, and the words weren't showing up or anything. But I domed it with, like, I think, what did I put in this? I forget. Because it's opaque. It's not see-through. Anyway, I like how that one turned out. But this is what I wanted to show my pride and joy. Oh, I did Cinderella, but I did some skulls. I actually was looking at, I think it was a video by um, Crafters Delights, of course, where she showed her painting a sugar skull. I'll just show this real quick. I'm going to dome it, and I'm going to put some stuff on there, um, some bling and stuff, but not until it gets tacky. I'm going to wait for it to get tacky. This one turned out really cute. I like it. And I burned it. See the back? I was blowing bubbles on the back with my um, lighter, and I burned it. Something was in there that I burned. I don't know. Anyway, she turned out pretty. So, these are my little... I had so much fun painting these. I just poured 
four more because there's only four skulls per um, mold. These are the um, ice cube trays. And we'll start with the first one I made. And these I actually used the tr triple thick. Oh, that's what I wanted to say too. I didn't dome this. I used triple thick on it. And it comes out really nice. Really pretty. Um, but these I did triple thick because they were kind of dull and I wanted to make, I didn't want to dome them because I didn't want a chance messing it up. Oh, and I used triple thick on the back and I had domed it. I domed them in um, purple and it looks like crackle. Like it kind of, I don't know if you can see like the little, there's kind of like cracks. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, these are pretty cool. I'm making more of these. I love them. They're super cute. I gave them all a gold tooth and some of them I put little um, like little decorations on their teeth. I think this was the second one I did. I don't want to get too close. It has purple flowers or pink flowers in the eyes and a heart. I put two like things on his teeth. See how you can see the cracks? It kind of looks like crackle which I don't care. It's an old skull. And there were definitely um, bubbles. I had a few bubbles in my my white pour, but I don't care because he's a skull and he's got chipped teeth. Um, that's my favorite. So I did this one with a cross, like a flower. And I outlined everything with this little pen right here. This is a, a Micron 01. And this really works well. Um, the white that I used, oh my god, now I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was just the pigment, the white pigment. And that's what I did on the ones upstairs. This is my favorite. This was the last one I did. I just like, I like the way the eyes, I did around the eyes, and I went around the nose. I think I'll like combine my favorite things next time. Like I kind of like, I liked all the like leaves and stuff. This one's pretty cool too, but that was fun. That brought in my, like, brought me back to painting again. So I'm definitely going to do a bunch more of these. I think I'll make keychains and necklaces, but the triple thick, putting it on top of doming, because when I sanded them, they got a little, there was, they were dull in places. So I just figured, oh, let me throw some triple thick on there. And, um, the front looks great. The front looks absolutely great, but the back, yeah, it looks a little crackled. So that's kind of weird. I don't know. I love them though. I am, I'm loving these. I'm going to make more. I got these printouts off Google. I just Googled, um, sugar skulls and I got these printouts. So, um, that helped me a lot. Like think of designs to do and stuff. Um, cause you know, I'm old and I'm not into this stuff. These are like, uh, cookies and a gingerbread man. That was so cute. But all right, guys, that's my um, resin update for now. I'll be back. I just got a light switch cover and a light socket cover thing, and they're up there. I poured them today, so I'll be back with some more goodies. Thanks for watching.